Oh, no, those seem perfectly, totally serviceable to live in. Where does the plumbing go? Where does one poop, sir? Answer me, Monopoly Moon Man. Ocean man. Oh, so we're in some dangerous conditions. I can hear it slithering around us. Okay, too soon. Well, guess what, sweetheart? Right? <laughs> Humans have the courtesy to wait a while before their bodies start to stink. Wow. <laughs> you ever, yeah, I was about to say, you ever met a homeless in Santa Cruz? Like, all right, let's kick some ass, take some names, chew some bubble gum, and hopefully not in that order. I'm out of bubble gum. Oh no! Tiger little rat. Fuck you. Why? Why is that an enemy? Just run away, man. You live longer. Ladies, can you take care of that while I take a big old crap? Is that what this is? It looks like where you would take a big old crap. Okay. No toilets for taking a shit should ever be made like that. It's basically just like urinals with the divider, but for taking a crap. Is that not just like... That's gross. Like, I know in ancient Greece and ancient Rome, everybody got around and, like, sat and took a shit and talked about the day. But we don't do that anymore, because it's gross and weird. I don't need to see your poop face. I do not need to know what your poop face is. Just letting you know. <laughs> Oh, hey, yeah, by the way, we're the two rude dudes, and remember, we're not just the best choice when it comes to watching YouTube gaming videos. We're the spacer's choice. Goddamn right, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, which corporation are we at? Oh, uh, yeah, no. With right now. Uh, I think we're dealing with spacer's choice out here. Most likely, that's usually... The, or hex, hex, Hexacon, Hexalon, I don't know. There's a bunch of those little, you know, they all got those weird future company names. Oh god. Manta Queen. That's. Nah. You know what? You know what's way more fun? Running. Fuck this fucking shit. I'm fucking done with that crap. I'm fucking getting out of here now. Damn. That guy has uh, a lot of cardio going on. <laughs> he later in track in high school. Track <laughs> sucks! You suck! Remember that in fucking Rivers Blue? Thanks, I learned in track in high school. Track sucks! You suck! I always loved that, that, that O'Malley was basically Mark Hamill's Joker. Yeah. Oh, she'll taste oblivion! Which tastes just like Red Bull. Which oh. is disgusting! <laughs> yes, very much. So. I love that one. Uh, oh, she'll... No, what did he say? It's like, and you shall prepare for destruction for which there is no preparation. I fucking love O'Malley. It's one of my favorite characters in any fucking thing ever. I guess, like, in hindsight, it's like, oh, because he's the Joker, and I really do love the Joker. I never really thought about that, but what's his name? Matt Holm. Really brings that character to life, especially when you consider that the guy who does Doc and the guy who does O'Malley is the same voice. Like that's basically Mark Hamill doing Luke Skywalker and then jumping to the Joker. Yeah. Which is like, I mean, kind of what happened. And we were all very much like, "Whoa, seriously? That's that he could do that? Wow, <laughs> that's cool." Like when Doc first showed up, he didn't have the O'Malley personality, so he was just kind of annoying. It's like, oh hey, oh. He's like Morty, basically, without the Rick. Just, oh, jeez! Then, then, then he gets a Rick in his head. Oh, shit. What? Oh, damn, I went so fast, the game has to load. Like, it's fucking... What? <laughs> like, it's Half-Life fucking 2. Oh, oh, my God. That is bad. 
<laughs> Listen, I just don't want to fight you guys. There's too many of you and you all. Fine, let's do it. You know what? Fine. You want to do this? Hey, I died. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. hurt a lot. Yeah, yeah. Now, how far back do you got to start from? I don't know. Oh. Oh, man. This is what this game's getting to me. We're not that powerful. Maybe we should take a second to look at our upgrades. Yeah. I don't think maybe. we've done that in a while. I could edit shit out. What I like to try to start doing is taking like the first 10 to 15 minutes and editing it down to be more snappy to draw people in and then let the rest of the stream play out because, you know, there's still a lot of good in there and, you know, some people want to see the full gameplay. So I try, I want to get the best of both worlds. Oh, yeah. That's a bit Oh, check this out. I found out what the cork from these bottles. It fits oh, on my cool. pipe. <laughs> that's awesome. <coughs> oh, look, we're all the way back here. I... <coughs> uh... <coughs> right? Top ball sounds like some kind of sex act. She tosses my balls around like tossing a salad. But instead of like eating out your ass, she just like... Two, two balls in her mouth and plays with, with the tongue, which is exciting, by the way. It's like, god damn, she could climb down any second with her teeth and just destroy my entire existence. But she doesn't. And that's love, ladies and gentlemen. That's, that's love. Whoa, love. Spaceballs. Ladies and gentlemen, we no, wait, no, that's not Spaceballs. That's, that's Princess Bride. Remember the priest, ladies and gentlemen. Remember, same man and wife, man and wife, man and wife. Ah <laughs> oh, man, when's the last time you watched Princess Bride? Uh, I would use the word recently, but that's not anywhere true. in the last five years. Oh uh, man, I at least watch that movie once a year. It's so good. That's like watching The Grinch every Christmas. Like every springtime, I'll watch Princess Bride. It's a perfect time of year because it's, it's around that time of year in uh, whatever the fictional fucking world they're supposed to be in. Inconceivable! Love that guy so much. R.I.P. Andre the Giant. If I never smell another raft, it'll be too soon. Weren't you with the sawbones? Figured you ought to have smelled worse. Sure, but those things reek like bad cologne. It's different. I'm with you there. Here they come. Ah, uh, she didn't get to finish the thing. Oh, it's those little things. You know what? Hold on. Is there a map we can look at so I can... Alright. There's one bridge there, but... Okay, so we gotta go all the way over here. Buddy, what do you, can you get off my cord, you fat cat? Get off the cord. Get off the... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What is... Are you serious right now? Oh, my fucking God with you. <laughs> what the fuck, man? Can we just, like, do a stream without fuckery? Like, god damn, man. Okay, we gotta go like, <coughs> all the way around. Oh. We should have just fast traveled to this area, but we can't do that now because we're in combat. Maybe we go up and get out of combat. I hope so. Those ladies aren't gonna make it easier. This is not a good start. for me can we fast travel now <laughs> uh. doesn't sound like we're in combat 
Okay, there. A lot of loading screens. Look at that thing, isn't it creepy? It's gonna eat your face. Oh, I need to crack my back. Why won't you crack, you piece of shit back? Oh, that's annoying. Good stretch, nonetheless. Yeah, people don't expect a fat guy to have that kind of lumbar, but hey. Okay, I'm gonna make sure. Okay, this is, it's basically a straight shot. Let's do it. You can call me Barry Allen, cause I'm the fucking Flash, bitch. Green fields of toxic. Whoa! Meant to jump that. <laughs> Sometimes Barry goes too fast, he forgets how to jump. Yeah, but if he learns to go faster than fast, he can walk on water without stopping. Oh, dude, yeah, like, with that, there's a dip to it, so he would run, and then just skim over the top of it without even, like, touching the water. Oh, what the fuck? Oh! They gonna kick your Honestly, I would love a Justice League game where you actually get to play as the Flash and use his powers properly, you know? Yeah. Oh, shit. I don't need to take cover. Good drop, man. It hurt a little bit, but I'm fine. Shit, I might need to double back. Wait, what? I think I just kind of fucked myself. I do that all the time, but you know. Oh, of course, this isn't Skyrim. Your mama, wait. Take all the things. There we go. Because this is one of those games that you gotta loot because you are conditioned to loot like a squirrel on Adderall. <laughs> yep. I mean, you know, if this wasn't a game that we wanted to just do for the channel, I might take more time, but I don't care. Can we go this way? We can't. Fuck you. Ah! Uh, uh, looks like we got Handboy in back. Oh, hey, Handboy. Yeah, fast as fuck, boy. Closest to a Flash game we got in the DC Universe Online. Than the one we got in DC Universe Online, that's true, yeah. I don't know. DC Universe Online wasn't necessarily bad, but it wasn't really that good. Did you play it at all? Yeah. No. You basically make your own superhero or villain that's kind of based around the ones you would like. Like, with heroes, you can be like a Wonder Woman type, Batman, Superman, The Flash, Ow. Green or, stuff again. Or you can be like a Joker type or Lex Luthor type or whatnot. And, you know, be powerful, good with technology, or good with flying, or, or just, you know, it's just like, whatever, you can make your own thing. And it wasn't necessarily the worst thing, it just didn't function great, you know? It's like how, you know how Marvel and Star Wars always have better video games than Star Trek and DC, with the exception of the Arkham games? The Arkham games are, like, the only good... Okay, to be fair, they're the only, like, real good superhero games in general, but, like, I guess that analogy doesn't work. Fuck! That's what happened last time. That's what happened last time. Now that I is, remember. That is what that, happened. Now I fucking remember what happened last time. You jumped, you clipped one thing, and then fell right through it. Oh, mother. It's been a hot minute since we played this. Right. But, yeah. It's no excuse, you gotta get good, bro. Yeah, character creation for DC Universe Online is the funniest part, handboy. Hey, That's definitely true. Because you can just get to sit there all day, you can make a guy really buff or skinny, you can give your chick some big fucking tits. And, and like, I mean, if you're gonna play a super-powered woman, 
You might as well give her some big fucking titties. I like them chick old bitties on my super gals, okay? I'll tell you what right now. Like, I just want them nuzzling Wonder Woman's big old breastesses. And I know everybody listening to my voice wants to as well. Mm. I'm not talking about Gal Gadot. I'm talking about the cartoon Wonder Woman with the big soft titties as big as her head. And you're like, yep. Yep, yep, yep. But I don't want Superman saving me. I mean, he'd definitely succeed, but Wonder Woman... Maybe I can buy her a drink, you know? Who knows? <laughs> like, listen, I know you treat men as inferior, so why don't you be a dominatrix mommy for me, Wonder Woman, and just show me what you got. Fuck you looking at? She's like, why well, are you such a misogynist? <laughs> right, let's follow the line this time, shall we? Oh! On me, folks. If you say so, baby cakes. I mean, the line is technically a railroad track. Boy, watching Superman throw my car at a villain and then miss. Down this road. We've got a decent like, truck ahead of us. Yeah, I don't know what she just said, but we're not doing that. Oh, oh, there it is. Okay, here's the thing. How? Oh! 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 oh. God damn it. So no matter what, the drop from there is a death. Okay, we need to, like, go around it. Shut up. I'm making myself some pasta today. I got shrimp. I got pasta. I got, like, this new, like, lemon kind of sauce. I don't know what it is, but I want to try it. We got it from, um, Costco. Which, okay. now that I got that electric bike in there, it will be a lot easier. Goodbye, little purple road. I don't want to fucking die. I just want to get to my destination. Why do you got to be a prick about it? That doesn't rhyme. South here. Off the road and down the slope. We've got a decent truck ahead of us. Okay, so she literally tells me what to do, and I fucking ignored it. This is why I prefer space. Here they come. Ladies, don't get distracted. Give us a good conversation that you were paid to make happen. And then throw in some boom booms for entertainment. See, I'm still getting XP. Fallbrook's on the other side of the bridge there, if you need a drink. We're only halfway to the mountains, though. Might consider stopping in. <laughs> this so place? we're gonna go to a bar? I guess. Booze? Sounds excellent. Excellent! <laughs> Wayne's World party time. Excellent. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, man, that Mountain Dew Vulcan shit is so fucking tasty. I hate how tasty it is. People are like, oh, you Mountain Dew. I'm like, I know it normally, but the blue shit. It's like somebody went, hey, what if we just like liquefied crack? <laughs> And then made it blue, like meth. <laughs> oh my god. Now I want an edit of Breaking Bad, but when they're done, he holds up like a bottle of the Mountain Dew Voltage. This is the pure shit. <laughs> ah. 
Hi there. Trouble checking in? Or you might need directions to the amenities? If you're locked out of your cabin, a replacement key costs 50 bits. I didn't even know this place existed. Where am I? Who am I? What's this place? Who are you? What's there to do? Yes, it's true. Fallbrook really is the best kept secret in all of Monarch, excepting the Vorst Factory secret ingredient. We're a leisurely. I mean, I like literally. I played through this game. I had no idea this place existed. Understand? <laughs> uh, sure. Quick on the draw types like you. Saloon is straight back and to the right. Once you're feeling sated, you're welcome to a private cabin. Only two fifty a night. Ms. Malin can let you one if you're interested. She's the one who runs this racket. Okay. I am here to anticipate and facilitate your needs, patron. Cool. This place sounds pretty awesome. Or round of whiskey, or both. Maybe I did come to this place. I don't remember. It does look kind of familiar. This place. <laughs> this the place. No, these are the sublight guys. I don't know if I want to fuck with them. Can I just put my weapon away? Nope. Just walk around with that weapon out. Oh, there we go. Press and hold X. Hello. Is there a bar around here? I heard there's a bar around here. A bar. I'm just seeing Need little houses. Drinks. I imagine it's gotta have some kind of sign. Dry goods and sundries. House of hospitality. I mean that's gotta be it, right? No. You. You don't look like a smuggler nor a dandy. Catherine send you back here? On second thought, it's best if I don't know. Who the fuck's Catherine? Where's the bar? Are you a bar? You got any of this shit? No, I don't have any. If it's only a drink you're after, the full bar's upstairs. Oh my god, thank you. Where you place your bets. Oh. If you ain't here to bet, I'll kindly ask you to vacate my uh, bar. Yeah, no. Auto loader races, card games, you name it. I ain't Fuck picky. betting. And neither is Catherine. We'll both break your legs if you lose, then shirk on paying. Okay, you don't gotta threaten me. Let me get out of your little hair. Yeah, prick. Ah, jackass. Hey, lady! Folks, Give me the booze! Hello. Oh, so she's like a manic story. pixie dream girl. Look at her. Uh. Well, it's the strangest thing, really, but I was frozen in space for 70 years, and one day... Let me just stop you right there, stranger. My question, it's not one I really want an answer to. Not unless it accompanies some extra bit. <sighs> Understand? Oh, I knew a hot chick named Yvonne. Blonde, German, huge tits. How many bits are we talking? More than you can afford at this time. You do serve drinks, right? Your eyes do not deceive you. This bar serves the sweetest fire water in all of Fallbrook. I got some snacks <sighs> on offer too from time to time. Are you part of that offer? Ha <laughs> uh, uh. Do you work for Sublight? If you're asking if it's Sublight owned, then yes. If you're asking <coughs> if it's discounts to Sublight employees, then the answer is not only no, but doubly no. Ms. Mayer right. built the bar, the saloon, and the town to boot. If you got business with Sublight, I suggest you follow up with her. Alright, I'll take a drink. Bitch. What do you got? Expensive uh, booze. And how much do I got? I don't know. Okay, that's the credits I have. I'll take one of everything, just for shits and giggles. Now let's drink it. Oh shit. Wait. 
I'm gonna hold it. Ooh. Just get really drunk all at once. <laughs> Caution to the wind, people. I was expecting some kind of like effect like you get in like the Fog yeah. games or the Elder Scrolls. Nope. Just um not even like in Bioshock where your character gets all woozy for a second, you know? Nothing. Just I just literally downed like several bottles of like whiskey and rum and wine. And nothing. Nothing. Not a damn thing. Not a, not a damn thing. My character is tough as fucking nails. What a Chad. Which and now used to you be an insult. Run. Yeah, and I can run. No, by the way, Chad used to be an insult. Now it's apparently a compliment. That's not a good thing. Right? Still wondering if they just peel off warts and cook them. Oh, uh, yeah. Borts worst. Borst worst. The worst of a borst. It's not the worst unless it's worst. It's not just the best worst. It's Spacer's worst worst. Spacer's worst worst. Brought to you by Spacer's Choice. When you want some borst worst for your choice worst, you get the Space Choice coast to coast. Wait, what? I, I, I think we might have just I think I had, had a stroke. stroke. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think we just had a stroke. <laughs> oh, man. Incoming! Ooh! I just want to get to the bulk of what we're actually supposed to be fucking doing here. Look northwest. That ain't it, but marauders sometimes camp inside the building. Okay. What? What do I got? Oh, it's the goggles that make my guns worse? That's weird. Uh, you know what? Fuck it. Oh, I see. Oh, I have to do it individually now. It's probably pretty high even for now. Fine, then we'll just put it into this. Eh, fuck you. Ah, hey guys. Oh, hey, no, don't, uh, don't get up on my account. I don't get up because of little old May. <laughs> into the Devil's Peak Cavern. Okay, now, Jesus. This factory offers the loveliest aromas. Like if you cook borscht over a sulfur pit. Hey, we were just talking about borscht. Borscht, worst. Get it's the space choice to worst. Uh, the the worst of the worst of borscht. Worst, worst. Space is worst. Worst. <laughs> Please don't hit a cliff. Please don't hit a cliff. Okay, we're good. I came all the way out here for your stupid bitch ass. This better be worth it. I don't even know what we're doing out here. It's not even a main quest. It's like a side quest for the companion to get their trust, you know? You know, you have to do companion quests? Yeah. To get their trust. So when you get to the end, everything is good and whatnot. Here. Cool. Do we do it? Hayes was the best self-sacrificing son of a saint I ever met. Halcyon is worse off without him. Now, if we're gonna lure the Manta Queen out, we'll need to find Rebecca and Anders. They took a UDL. I'm sorry. Well, we're gonna do a what? I've never heard from them again. I think it's time I call in. I uh, no. Go back. If anyone can track them down, it's him. Oh, are we gonna bring out the crate dragon? Where's Cad Bane? Where's the <laughs> Chris? If you don't get that reference, you need to watch the new season of Mandalore. What the fuck? What is this contract? What's going on? What are you doing? I don't know much about it. It paid well, so they took it. 
They said they'd be back in a couple of weeks and that maybe we could all use the money to get off Monarch. That was a long time ago. In a galaxy far, far away. <coughs> I should have. I, I really should have. But soon after they left, <coughs> on the other side. I gotta remember to do the dialogue because my character doesn't. So many games we do, they do the dialogue. Uh, yeah. And I feel like we're so useless as commenters. You know, where Isaac would be like, booze makes for better friends anyways. Or, that's a concerning amount of baggage to carry around. Well, shit, I'm working on it, all right? You think I like lying awake at night? You think I like stewing on the similarity between rap screens and my friend's death throes? I'm... Yes. I'll get there. Quips from you ain't gonna help me along the way, so stow it. Ooh, sassy. Uh, I'm sorry, Whoopi Goldberg. Oh, God. A little bit, right? Oh, uh, she's bit. in the news again for... What'd she do? Just being a cunt, from what I understand. See, that's the thing that really annoys me. It's like, I really liked her growing up, you know? She was Guinan in Star Trek, Sister Act, uh, Karina, Karina, like... I love those movies. Um, but, like, yeah, no, it's the same what happened with Roseanne. But, like, kind of the opposite direction, you know? It's like, I love Roseanne Barr. Annoying voice aside, she was a hilarious woman. It makes me sad. It makes me very, very sad. Mama! Ooh. Okay, so where are we going? All the way up there. God damn. Take your best shot, asshole. Hit me with the best shot. Pow, pow, pow. Hit me with the best shot. These games are kind of a lot of riding around, isn't it? I could fight stuff, but also I could just run. A, I don't want to waste ammo. B, I don't want to waste help. C, I don't want to waste your time. D, I don't want to waste my time. E, shut up. It'd be nice if you had a rocket booster. Rocket boots would be cool too. All video games are better with rocket boots. Make him regret it. Make them taste the fiery power of your JJ. Oh, jeez, sorry. Didn't mean to offend. Oh, what is that? No. No. Your chick's getting eaten, apparently. Ah, she's fine. She likes getting eaten anyways. <laughs> it's one of her favorite pastimes. I don't know. Whoa, hello. Ah! Shit. You missed. You missed. We missed now, babe. What do you got? What do you got? Give it to me. Thank you. Where are you going? Hey. Oh yeah, you have bats in this game. In the ass. Do you hear one of my companions cackling like a mad woman? Yep. I don't know which one of you it is, but I love you. Let's make love. Or hot, dirty sex. I don't really give a fuck. Ah, uh, everyone die. Everyone, everyone, everyone die. Oh, shit, I might die. Time to run, motherfucker. Bye! gonna do when I run from you nothing nothing 
You almost died. Multiple times. Don't stop me now. I'm having such a good time. Having a ball. Don't stop me now. If you want to have a good time. Give me a call. Don't stop me now. Don't stop me. Because I'm having a good time. Now I'm stopping it I say as I am fully stopped. I'm a rocket ship on my way to Mars On a collision course On a satellite I'm out of control I'm a sex machine ready to reload Like a little bum I'm about to whoa, 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 weak spot Okay I'm sorry, I missed that. I was goofing off Hi there All the other kids with the pumped up kicks You better run, better run I'll run my gun, I said all the other marauders with the pumped up kicks, you better run, better run, faster than my gun. They're in the panic room. Whoa. Got up close and personal with her. Is there anything I can open? Jesus. Okay, fine. Whatever. You know what? I don't care. Hold on, ladies. Ah, uh, that's that salt tuna. Hey, stop! Don't look at me while I'm dirty. Ah, uh, in the toilet pit. Well, got to use the three seashells. Oh. <laughs> he does. He doesn't know what the seashells are for. <laughs> There's a theory that nobody knows what the seashells are for, and everybody's just walking around with poopy buttholes. And that's the funniest one. What? Where are you? Who He's are you? behind the camera. Oh, hi there. Little bit of both. You could use the socialization, you son of a bitch. You know this little cunt? Also, he hired me. To what purpose? I happen to have some significant problem I am dealing with right now. Marauders running out of purple air supply three days ago, not being able to bloody broadcast. See, there's a broker. You know what? I'm gonna Batman this. <laughs> Or we can call you Hiram, on account of that's your damn name, and doubly on the account of the broker being a dumbass alternative. What? Looks like this is the guy we're looking for. Aside from you. It's like when somebody refuses to call me Joker. How dare you? <laughs> I actually prefer people call me by my actual name. The going rate is um five hundred thousand credits. So a million credits. Too many, considering I hired a bunch of no good mercs to keep them out in the first place. Well, that's what you get. You literally get what you pay for, son. Oh, also this cartridge I got from Cultivate. It's this brand, whatever that is. Almora. Pretty good. It's pretty good overall. So what's in it for me, Sunshine? Alright, bud. I'll see what I can do. Let's go kill some marauders! 
Yeah. Shoot him in his ass. Shoot him in their pretty little pink buttholes. I was hoping one of these would show up and like highlight them, but no, we just gotta go through old, old school style. Yay! Okay, I got a perk. Hold on a second. There's so many. Bonus dialogue with milk. I usually keep companions. Only. Carrying capacity for my companions, fuck that. Ooh. Restore 15% health whenever I kill an enemy. I like that. Let's do it. Hold on, wait. Okay, they got a door closed. I'm guessing he's in there. Or. Up there, whatever it is. We can grab our others. Oh, yeah. You make an L with your thumb. Also, a red versus blue reference. I told you. 50% of my sense of humor, D. It's just red versus blue references. Do you really want to taste it? Damn it. Suck it, red. Suck it, blue. What? What is that on you? What? What is it? A spider? No, it's like a blue pulsing thing. What? Like a blue spider? Get it off! No, it's not a spider. That doesn't sound better than a spider. What I love about that scene is that it took them like a hundred takes, because obviously it just kept exploding on them. And they were actually able to get it to go. Oh, that is not a smart AI. <laughs> oh, by the way, you know how the Halo show sucks? <laughs> That's because people just need to go watch Red vs. Blue. There's 13 really good seasons, and then, um, you know, other stuff. I didn't watch anything after season 13, because once they killed off Church, I was kind of done. I was like, oh, no more Church? I don't care. And then I heard, like, later that, um, Joel Heyman left due to some Twitter controversy. And, yeah. What he said, I don't really know. Nor does it even fucking matter to me, you know? Because it's like, oh no, he said something uncouth on Twitter? Well, who the fuck hasn't done that? Come on. Like, I don't know. No, as no. long as you're not a rapist, a pedophile, or, or murderer, I, I think you're probably alright. You know, I think it has something to do with Palestine or something. I don't know. One of those, because he was kind of weird about politics. But yeah, it's you know just some of those things where it's like that show's kind of falling apart at this point. But hey, thirteen solid seasons. There ain't nothing to shake a stick at. Most shows don't make 13 seasons with that good of a track record. Gr granted, when your episodes are only like 5 to 15 minutes long at the most, yeah, it's, it's kind of yeah. easier to condense the writing and everything. Like, when you have to fit into that TV formula with, like, you got to do 26 minutes to make sure you have room for commercials and whatnot, that really kind of ruins it. This guy over here. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Alright, that was awesome. Time for a drink? Nah, not yet, honey. Not yet. I 
figured we'd have to wipe them from the outside, too. But maybe not. I'm gonna do it anyways. Actually, this is pretty easy to kill. Oh, damn, look at her go. Uh. Oof, oof, oof. Who wants some? No, seriously, who wants some? Where you guys at? Get over here. Let me put bullets in you. Oh, wait, no, you're my gal. Okay, they're all dead then. Good. Hit them with a toss ball stick. Hit them with a big bat prick. Hit them with a lollipop star. That wouldn't hurt. Oh? I'm really there on your side. You got a real talent for murder, stranger. Color me impressed. You stay okay. up under the protection of the corporate compliant crew. You ought to talk to my crew. They're guarding a small barracks to the southeast, by the edge of the mountain. Who are you waiting for? Come on, let me kill these marauders. You mean the ones still inside? Wish I could, but we play it by the book. You want help? Alright, then have a good one. Crazy people. Pistol. Big gun. Very limited ammo. Toss ball stick, and then I'm guessing a rifle. Hey! Space vodka. For all your spacing cosmonaut needs. You drink space vodka, you remind you of Mother Russia. Come, where you come from. Yes. Oh, yeah, speaking of alcohol. Not vodka, though. I can't, I can't with vodka anymore. I drank way too much tea, though. So uh -oh. Yep, 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 fuck that noise. What are we doing? Where are we going? What are we fighting? Wait. Oh, that's why we had to take an elevator down. This elevator. Elevator. Oh, I was about to be like, do I have to like, way back downstairs? Or no, wait, what? I don't know. Oh yeah, no, this is it. Let's take them out. Oh, look, that one's already. Maybe through here? Hey now, what's going on? Where you all at? They're in the oven behind you. Yeah, right? Hey there. How y'all doing? Ah! Oh shit. Damn girl. That's the worst of them, I think. Okay. Now, this ought to square our debts. One hefty payment for high value service rendered. But I admit, I do wonder why Mioka has brought you to me. Allow Just wants to kill you, bro. In, <coughs> in the nebula, are you here? Because I'm gonna fuck your mother, son. That is the primary goal behind locking myself high in a tower. 
Some folks don't look Ah, because we're all here to fuck your mother. Delicate, you get your mom, we get you. The pussy be delicate, I get it, don't worry. Plenty of lube to go around, in all her holes. Look, it's edible lube. So her throat will be nice and usable. You do, do you? I have lost track of the number of beers you owe me for chicken wrapped it on off your stoop. Ooh. I know that line. I use it all the time. I take offense to that. Look, okay. Just, it might take me a while this time. Oh, yeah, what's that? I'm awaiting but a single incoming transmission containing the information we desire. But MSI and the Iconic class are clogging the airwaves from Stellar Bay and Amber Heights. In their war against each other, they're scrambling each other's outgoing transmissions. Uh-huh. So we kick them off. Exactly what I was thinking. They hurt us all with their pettiness. Which of course has inadvertently affected the incoming port and my livelihood. This is a man who sounds very petty. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm cleaning my glasses. There's a smudge. But I actually just made worse. Cool. Love glasses. Love wearing them. Totally not in any nuisance. Yeah. <laughs> Still? Come on, man. There we go. That's much better. Okay. Can we cut them off from an either dimension? No, they're jamming the limited frequencies we have at our disposal. Sorry, I think I had a stroke there. The planetary can get nor out until the frequency. The safest bet is to convince Graham <laughs> to stop transmitting on their end. Yeah, I've just been drinking too much. All right, I'll talk some sense with them. That, I'll be here, waiting on the receiving end. Love cool. me with you. I have a feeling you'll be needing a pinch. And may the force be with you. Oh, patience. And my <laughs> Jesus be with you. Listen, by the way, uh, Nokia phone needs a favor. Oh, great. I love doing pro bono work for friends. Aw, you called us friends. <laughs> you're going to pain yourself with grandizing delusions, but this time it's important. Oh. Tug on my heartstrings, why don't you? Yeah, I like pursuing so people. I'll do what I can, all right? Rebecca Hodges and Anders Wyworth. They took a UDL contract back when Monarch went to shit, and I need to find them. I believe them to be on Terra, too. If UDL hired two hunters back then, it would have been for creature clearing purposes around one of their spacer's choice outposts. These are the coordinates. It's not just the best choice. It's the shitting source. <laughs> They're all shitty. That's what happens when you let a corporation take over. Right? Is that a tricky question? Because to answer it, you'd need to pay me. Of course, I could uh. offer you a vastly more interesting bit of data instead. Try me. Ask me anything you'd like. I'll even offer it for free. Oh. I'll call it in exchange for your help with the broadcast. Wow. Okay. You will. Big question. All right. Um. Kind of want to know. Any broadcast on Earth? What? No. Why would I go out of my way to intercept messages from Earth? There's no market for them. No buyer means it's not worth my time. Now, huh. if you wanted me to intercept a certain one, that might be worth it for the right price. That's a... It's a real shame. You remember the guy who saved us? A guy Rick? Phineas? I don't know what happened to his brother Ferb, but Phineas definitely went into space and had a bad time. I don't even I don't even know which one is Phineas or Ferb. I don't care. I just know there's a platypus and a mad scientist, and that alone seems like a great show. Not much, admittedly. You must know something. Phineas has been in hiding for the past thirty five years. He got in touch. Wow. First. Dude, imagine being in hiding for 35 years. Of course, what's between us? Outside of that, well, 
That's a raptor dawn of another color. What the does that mean? That's a horse of another color! Remember from Wizards of Oz? I do know this much. Oh, yeah? There is a sharper side to the good scientist than you'd expect. If alligators yeah. are to be believed, the experiments he conducts for the greater good are in fact treasonous and for self gain. I am not convinced as to the validity of these allegations, considering the source, but I am also not convinced either. Whoa, sorry, microphone. Luckily for you, I am a veritable. I think Venus is on the up and up, honestly. What else would we say to us? They are a curious lot. Insufferable. And short sighted. I thought he was only going to ask to answer one thing. Like, All right. I like could mine him a little bit. You mean between MSI, the iconoclast, and myself? I bet neither of those megalomaniacs told you I was the true mastermind behind Monarch. Nope. When the colony was still terrible, what's Monarch? Were abandoning oh. left and right. I'm the one who opposed See, this is the problem with doing 15 games at once. It's a little too much lore. I offered them a yeah. To take control of the planet. See, I would love to rework it. Here. Where we finish off anything with a linear sword. And then really delve deep into stuff like this and cyberpunk and uh, KOTOR and whatnot. Rework the schedule, do you know what I mean? Which I guess we could, because who gives a shit, right? I'll look into it. Precisely. The other corporations were fleeing because of the hazard clause declaring Terra 1 uninhabitable. What MSI had lagged behind, giving Sanjar and Graham an opportunity to take over MSI. Stay here while the other corpse left. Take over the planet. Because to be fair, we don't have a lot of games that go that hard into it. I think it's only this cyberpunk. Yeah, no, yeah. And, um, KOTOR. So, like, maybe we should finish out all these, like, linear games, and it will allow us to dig deep into these, like, three games that we have. Let's see, who knows? Precisely. Without me, they never would have done more than play revolution in hushed whispers over scuzzy kale ales in the tavern. The last the bargain was struck. Mmm, scuzzy kale ale. I would operate Devil's Peace Station. I'm sure that's what they call jizz in space, uh, right? Competing ideologies. Graham believes Sanjar has become corrupted by the corporate lifestyle. That he is now similar to the original corporate executives they sought to reform. And Sanjar has learned the hard way that Graham is quite morally gray. <laughs> Sanjar is not actually at fault for his past performance views. I guess we might as well just grill this guy. This information might be useful later for conversations. Not in his lifetime. For nebula's sake, even with the loophole I gave him, he's only in charge of MSI because every other exec died during the massacre at Amber Heights. Brutal. I gave Sanjar and Graham legal information that would allow MSI to own Terra One once the other corporations had abandoned the planet. The execs had their concerns, but before the matter could be resolved, pirates raided their homes in the night. So the only two linear games we have that would go longer, actually three, would be Jedi Survivor, Psychonauts, and Alice Menace Returns. Psychonauts 2 and Alice Menace Which, to be fair, if we did all the three of those back-to-back -back after we finish off their games, that would be kind of sick. Not gonna lie, they're yeah. really good fucking games. And, oh yeah, Half-Life as well. I don't know. I'll figure it out. I know I will. Some say Graham suffers from nightmares that leave him sweat drenched and screaming. I would don't we all? It stems from the friends and family he lost in Amber Heights all those years ago. Luckily for you, I am a veritable font of information. If you say so. There are so many members. Do specify. Oh, okay. If you try to cite me on this, I will deny, deny, deny. Do you understand? What I am yes. about to reveal is the sort of information that gets a body disappeared. MSI's ownership of Monarch is technically legal, but it would give MSI too much power on the boards to grant them such status. 
So the chairman demoralizes Monarch rather than welcome it back into the fold. Exactly. But you didn't hear so much as a whisper of such from me. Okay. Luckily for you, I am a veritable font of information. I think that's all we get out of it. Oh, you seemingly regard my trade. I may have a secret for you. What a rough exchange. Why do you feel like such an oblivion character? How low oh, that's right, you haven't played oblivion. Okay, well, bye. You know where to find me. Maybe it might be good to finish those more linear games. To be fair, though, it's just like, there are, like when we finish Arkham, obviously we're going to want to do Arkham City and Arkham Knight, you know? When we finish Alan Wake, we're going to want to do American Nightmare and Control. That's kind of the thing. It's just like, all these things have sequels. There's so much to do, and who knows how much time? 